Although Masters of the Air follows the many stories of the men in the U.S. Army Air Force's 100th Bomb Group, the true narrator of the series is Major Harry Crosby, but how much does the series actually get right about the real man? Masters of the Air is a World War II drama following the true story of the 100th Bomb Group, also known as the Bloody Hundredth. The series has a star-studded cast, including Austin Butler, Callum Turner, Barry Keoghan, and Anthony Boyle. The series is produced by Band of Brothers Tom Hanks, Steven Spielberg, and Gary Goetzman. Despite Masters of the Air's massive cast of characters, Major Harry Crosby stands out for a few big reasons. First and foremost, Crosby is the narrator of the series. Although he is not the first character introduced, nor is he the character that has the most screen time, Crosby's voice is the one that carries audiences through the narrative and the world. Furthermore, Crosby stands out right away because of his unique storyline. He is a navigator that struggles with airsickness, which leads him to mess up coordinates, and thus, hurt his own missions. Major Harry Crosby's time in the 100th Bomb Group and Army Air Force history. Since Masters of the Air is based on a true story, it should be no surprise that Major Harry Crosby was a real person. In December 1941, soon after Japan's attack on Pearl Harbor, Harry Herbert Crosby decided to put his graduate studies at the University of Iowa on hold to enlist in United States Army Air Forces. He trained at the Mather Air Force Base in California to become a navigator of Boeing B-17 Flying Fortresses. In May 1943, he and 36 other original, bloody 100th, combat crews successfully flew into their base, Thorpe Abbotts, in England. From the spring of 1943 until the war's end in 1945, Major Harry Crosby flew 32 combat missions. This meant he led the 100th Bomb Group on countless important missions throughout the war, including dangerous flights to Bremen, the Munster Raid, and Schweinfurt, which resulted in countless airmen being killed or captured by the Germans. Notably, Crosby played a major role in planning out the 8th Air Force's routes over France on D-Day. A final aspect of Crosby's story in Masters of the Air is his personal relationships. Although Crosby had a wife named Jean waiting for him at home, he also formed an intimate relationship with a British subaltern named Alessandra Westgate while attending lectures at Oxford. Though Sandra's own work for the British military was quite mysterious, the two formed a bond due to the shared trauma of fighting in the war. Ultimately, Crosby and Sandra's relationship fizzled out, but it does play a notable role in Masters of the Air. What happened to Harry Crosby after Masters of the Air? Anthony Boyle as Harry Crosby Masters of the Air Episode 7. Ultimately, Crosby survived his time in Europe and returned to Iowa to finish his graduate degree in 1947. He went on to earn his Ph.D. at Stanford University in 1953 as well. Following his education, Crosby began teaching English composition and American literature at his alma mater. After only a few years, Crosby and his family moved to Newton, Massachusetts, where he worked at Boston University. Notably, Crosby and his wife were incredibly active in the lives of his children and the local government. Crosby acted as co-president of each of his children's PDAs.